Hey guys, um, I'm about to, we're about to go to the aquarium. So, I'm gonna do a little vlog. Uh, I'm gonna try, this is a bit noisy. Baby's awake. So, let's get ready. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video and realized that I forgot to film after I got ready and yeah, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, you'll get to see and enjoy the dolphin moment at the end, but yeah, thanks for subscribing, so please don't forget to do so, please don't forget to like, comment and share. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Guys, tell me this don't look like a Paku. Like, look at that fish. It's so ugly. <laughs> Thank you.
Can we dance it in this row? No, this is part of it. Oh, okay. First 10 votes. You are in our designated soap zone. If you do not wish to get wet, please watch your step as you move to higher ground. Thank you. Let's go right here. You want to sit there? Come here. Did you guys know a dolphin does not actually have a nose or even a sense of smell? That area of the dolphin's body is referred to as the rostrum. Now at birth, the rostrum is covered in several hair-like whiskers which aid in the nursing process. But the rostrum is also really important to the training process as well. You may see a couple of our trainers have what we call a target hole. This is simply a PVC pipe with a booby at the end. And we can add from their blowhole, which is located right on top of their head. Now, not only is this where our dolphins breathe from, but also where they produce a variety of different vocalizations. If you all listen really close, it sounds a little something like this. You beautifully said, I could not get all their strength. Not only does it allow our dolphins to be swift and powerful swimmers, but to propel their bodies up. Oh, okay. 